What does it feel like to live with dementia? The experience of living with dementia is often a challenging one. The more people's emotions and perspectives are understood, the better they can be supported. This film introduces four people who are able to share their insights on living with advancing dementia. Insights that were filmed over time and which were not always easily communicated. I wake up and I feel afraid to get out. What am I going to face today? What's going to go wrong? Because I've always got this thing in my, well, often get this thing in my mind to say, you've done something, you've broken something, you've lost something, you aren't any good to anybody. Why are you here? And I get that a lot. Oh, it's awful. You, you get to the stage where you don't want to talk to people in case you repeat yourself. I couldn't go outside and, and go to a shop or something. I, I, I died. It, well, I couldn't do it. I used to do it all right one time. It, it seems to get a bit harder and harder every year. You end up with things like this. Well, you don't feel as if you're in the world. At least I didn't. I didn't feel as if I was part of the world. Yeah, you used to have fun. Makes you feel defeated. What good am I in this world? I'm doing nothing. I'm going to sit down here and be fed and sleep and washed and like, a, like an animal. Let, let me live. Barry has lived with dementia for more than 15 years. He's aware of the changes within his life and is still both able to articulate this and, importantly, express how he feels about it. Well, when I came home last night and I went out and she said she wanted a cup of tea, I said, well, I'll make that one minute. So I went out and made the tea, but I couldn't remember which cupboard was which. Couldn't remember where the jam goes, where the sugar goes, where's the milk, where's that? And uh, I was out like this for a minute, so this is my kitchen. I used to manage butcher shops, I used to run a care home, I used to drive all over the country giving lectures on meat. Here I am, I can't make a cup of tea. Olive, who has lived in a care home for two years, describes her feelings about dementia. Awful, it's terrible, because you're hurting the people you love most, dementia. You really are. It, it makes you feel very guilty. Bob has received full-time care for two years. He talks about how dementia has changed his life. In the word, concentration. I can't seem to concentrate on, on one thing for very long. I don't think you realise how it hits you. Bob's symptoms include hallucinations and mistaken beliefs which his wife Sally explains. Um, when he gets hallucinations, they're extremely real to him. He sees things that aren't actually happening. We've had problems where he's, his room's been on fire and he's had to get out. Shortly before Bob moved into a care home, there were two occasions when he found himself on the roof of his house. I went twice, I, I got up on a roof, walked across the roof of a house. I don't know what made me do it. That's the difficult part, you can't explain it. All you can say is it happened and you did it. One o'clock in the morning, it's quite frightening. Judy was diagnosed with dementia 11 years ago. She experiences problems with visual perception and is often disorientated. Where, where am I here? I, 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 I know, I know where, who I am. Yeah. <laughs> I've got that one down. Okay. Um, where are you here? Uh, yeah, uh, no, where, where, where place is this place? Judy's daughter Karen knows her mother so well that she understands Judy's needs and feelings even when Judy can't find the words. 
She wants to express herself in ways that she just can't anymore. She wants to do things that she just can't do anymore. But because she still has a little bit of insight, it makes it really difficult because she still knows the things she wants to do, but she just can't do them. Why are you sad, Mum? Looking back, looking back, looking back. Yeah. Why does it make you sad looking back? Oh, I don't know. Probably I should have done other things. You just you can't do anything about it. If that's the thing. People can feel powerless in the face of dementia. Well, it's like a silent illness, isn't it? It's the sort of thing that um, creeps up on you. Yeah, there is a feeling of loneliness. But dementia stole me. I, I had no, no understanding that there was coming this, this thing that was going to attack my mind. I had no idea that any, any thing could attack, attack my mind, if you know what I mean. Other people, yes, but not me. Uh, it didn't occur to it happen to me. And uh, it, it, it's just like a persistent spy, almost. Uh, someone who is not recognisable, but his, his effects are, what he leaves behind him and what he's implanted are noticeable. Dementia is sometimes portrayed as taking away a person's identity. Judy was asked if she feels this is true for her. Oh, it doesn't. You are what you are with that. Well, with me, I'll be the same, exactly the same as him. Oh, I was sorry. It's just, it, no, it's still me. It's still me. It's, I'm just saying. It's horrible because she was so young being diagnosed with Alzheimer's, but then you know, that bits of her do still shine through, and she still is my mum. Barry is also clear on this point. Yeah, I'm a man, it's me, and I am me. I'm my wife's husband, I'm my son's dad. And it seems to me that most people, oh, she got dementia. That's sort of like a full stop, end the sentence, end the discussion. She's got dementia, or he's senile. Supportive relationships with families, friends and professional carers play a key role in helping people with dementia live well. They're very caring and I get big hugs from my husband and my children and, and that's all right mum, you forgot something, that's all, doesn't matter, here we are, and then it's all sorted out again. <laughs> well, if you just to stay here and help, help me and Just to be always been friends as well. Yeah, well, friends before the romance. So I think then you do stay in a loving relationship because the depth is there, isn't it? But he's still the Bob I fell in love with, and I still love. You know, he's still that person underneath everything. For people with dementia, as with any individuals, empathy and support can help to retain their sense of identity, as well as enhance their well-being and quality of life. If I could say one thing um, to somebody who's got dementia or a carer, it would be probably hang on in there because they really do need you and they have feelings and totally understand what you're saying. And one thing, if I walk into the room and mum can't see me, she hears my voice within a split second if I say hello to somebody. She knows that I'm there and it means so much to them.